Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come before you and I tell you. No other help I you. Hallelujah. If thou art drawn thyself from the Lord, where would I go? Father, without you, we can't do nothing. Hallelujah. Without you, our devils are hopeless, mighty God. Jesus, we thank you, mighty God. We thank you. We thank you for your presence with us, Lord. We thank you for your presence in the Sabbath school. We thank you for your presence from morning until now, my God. Into your being and only way, but you are here and you are with us. Mighty God, heal our aches and our pains today, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, let me not leave here today with nothing that's bothering us, Jesus. But I pray thee today, God, that you will supply our needs according to your riches in healing. Mighty God, remember those who are not here supposed to be here today. Lord, I pray, Sister Rose, before you today, I don't want to. Mighty God, as a cover under your name, Lord, I say give her strength, mighty God. Mighty God, she's not a quitter. Mighty God, she's a winner. She shall live and not die. She shall declare the words of the Lord. Mighty God, remember the past, Lord. Wherever Pastor Alice and Sister Alice is to face, she will Father God, I said, empower them with your power. Mighty God, they shall heal and deliver those who are sick. Mighty God, and those who are affected around them right now to Jesus. Lay your holy power fall upon them, my God. So they will deliver those that are bound. Let them not leave that one that are bound that amongst them to the God. I pray God for the power to lose. Mighty God, I pray you cover them and you be with them and take care of them. I pray that God and provide. Mighty God, make a way where there is no yes, way. Father, Supply every need according to your riches. Lord, yes, Lord, Lord, remember Lord. each and every one of yes, us in this house today. Oh God, every man have a problem. Jesus. Every man have a situation. Jesus. Every man have a condition. Jesus. Every man have something to face. But today, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Yes, I commit it all into your hands yes, and into your care. Yes, my God, remember the one who the world. I pray God for your man's servant that you will come and under your blood. My God, your shaka in the glory will come down. My God, the one that spears mighty God tomorrow. My God, send this word like a sharp sword. Holy Spirit of the living God, we pray deliverance today. We pray healing. We pray peace. We bind everything, my God, that try to control appetite. God, that don't want your daughter to eat food, Jesus. that she can't be yeah, yeah. war against Jesus. the enemy. Jesus. But today we bind that Those spirit in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we ask of you, God Jesus. Almighty, that you will release her appetite in the name of to Jesus. eat her food, Jesus. mighty God, so she could get strength yes. to stand up in this warfare, yes. to fight in the Gilead battles, to destroy the Amalekites and the Gideites and the Gideites that come up to the eater of Jesus. We pray deliverance, Lord. I pray strength for Sister Gloria in a time like this. I pray strength for your woman servant, Jesus. Give her the courage to continue, my God. Lord, help her, Heavenly Father. Let's not be weak and weary because we are human. But I pray thee to the Lord that you will have your own sweet way in this place. Take over, God. Remember the moderator. Strength your woman servant, Lord. And keep her as the apple of your eye. Lord, in every way, my God, that she go, go with her. Your promise never to leave her. Your promise, mighty God. And we thank you for her, Lord Jesus, to bring her home with her to us. Lord, we ask you for your mercies and your grace towards us today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Glory. Praise God. Back to the Praise God. Thank you, Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. For us this afternoon, we um, sing two or three Latin choruses to usher in the man of God. Hear what the Lord has laid on his heart for us this afternoon. She set me free one day. He set me free. He broke the
just went to Calvary for me. I now hand over to Evangelist. Run. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to know the blessings of the Lord, why won't you praise Him? Lift up your eyes and praise Him. Of the same. So we bow before you in humble supplication, my God. 
Let me tell you something. You see, when the children of Israel need something from God, they praise. When there's a matter, mighty God is standing in the atmosphere, they send a praise. When there's a situation in Israel, mighty God, it doesn't matter how far they drift or where they go, but they have the understanding that when something is needed, they can't get it in a holy quietness. Glory to God. So they lift a praise in the camp. My God. Sometimes when they lift the praise, even the enemy on the other side start trembling because they don't understand what is going on over here. Because sometimes Israel is surrounded. Great God of heaven. But, 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 but they learn that set up a praise and confuse the enemy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God and my Father. My God, my God, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm feeling good in this morment. I am feeling good in this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, I dance like David dance. When the spirit of the Lord is upon me, I dance like David dance. I dance, I dance, I dance, I dance. I dance, I dance, I dance, I dance. When the spirit of the Lord is upon me, I dance. When the spirit of the Lord is upon me, I dance like. The Lord is so funny. I
God said I do it for us. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, make your deliverance today. In Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Under your blood, Lord. Under your blood, Lord. Under your Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Guide us and protect us from our accident. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory! Thank you, Jesus. Glory! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, and it reads thus, And straightway he entered into the ship with his disciples, and came into the parts of Dalmantulta. And the Pharisees came forth and began to question with him, seeking of him a sign from heaven, tempting him. And he sighed deeply in his spirit, and said, Why doth this generation seek after a sign? Verily I say unto you, there shall no sign be given unto this generation. And he left them and entered into the ship again, departed to the other side. 14. Now the disciples had forgotten to take bread, neither had they in the ship with them more than one loaf. And he charged them, saying, Take heed, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the leaven of Herod. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, it is, becoming, it is because we have no bread. And when Jesus knew it, he said unto them, Why reason ye, because ye have no bread? Perceive ye not yet, neither understand? Have ye not heard? Sorry, have ye, have ye your heart yet hardened? Having eyes see ye not, and ears, and having ears hear ye not, and do ye not remember when I break the five loaves among five thousand, how many baskets of baskets full of fragments took ye up? They say unto him, Twelve. And when the seven among four thousand, how many baskets? Full of fragments took he up, and they said seven. And he said unto them, How is it that ye do not understand? And he cometh to Bethsaida, and they brought a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes, and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught, and he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up, and he was restored, and saw every man clearly, and he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any of anyone in the town. To what verse? Third. Third. Okay. One. Third one. And answer, and sorry, and Jesus went out and his disciples into the towns of Caesarea, Philippi. And by the way, he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Whom do men say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, but some say Elias and others, one of the prophets. And he said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? And Peter answered and said, said unto him, Thou art the Christ. And he charged them that they should tell no man of him. 31 appointed. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days risen 
Yeah. After three days, rise again. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. you know, this little topic that I have today is who the man said that I am. Mm -hmm. Who does man say that I am? Yes. And when that question that is asked, then ask, who do you so today we want to know who do you say that Christ is? Who do you acknowledge him to be in your life today? Glory to God. Who does man say that I am? And then who do you say that Christ is? Glory to God. So as we see, while Christ was on earth, he chose his disciples that was around him. And one of the things that he was doing, he was trying to get them to build their feet to understand who he is because for you to experience Christ you have to know who Christ is in your life glory to God in order for you to experience the power of Christ in order for you to know the authority that come with the association of Christ you have to first know who Christ is in your life oh glory to God so though they was with him for all of these years, he realized that they still did not understand who he was. Yes. And that is the reason why even in this season, there are many of us that is walking with Christ. My God, we, 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 are, we said we are serving him. We are walking with him. We are living for him. We go to church weeks after weeks, months after months after year. But who do you say Christ is? Yes, one of the questions is, who do man say that I am? Yes. And they said, some say he is John the Baptist. Yes. Some say he is Elias. Yes. Some say he is this, some say he is that, some say he is the other. Yes. But he said to you, okay, that's what they are saying. Who do you? But you that been walking with me for all this year, who do you say that I am? Oh. Who do you say that I am? Oh. What am I in other world? What am I to you? Do you know who I am? Yes. Do you know the capability I come with? Yes. Do you know the things that I can do? Yes. Do you know the power that is locked up in me? Yes. Who do you say that I am? Yes. Glory, to Glory to God. Yes, it's enough to say what the other man said that I am, but who you? Yes. Mighty God. Because let me tell you something. In order for you to experience God, you have to know God. If you don't know who God is, I think this might stop. If you don't know who God is, you cannot experience God. Yes. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. There's some that, as I said all the while, they walk casually with God. Yes. But they don't get into the secret place mm -hmm. of God. So it's like they're in the inner court with God. So because of that, they don't get to experience the greatness of God. Glory to God. So they will hear others speak of the greatness, but they never get the chance to experience it because they never take the time to know God on this level. So today we want to establish who God is in our life today. Amen. Mighty God. Amen. We heard that he is a savior. Yes. We heard that he is a deliverer. Yes. We hear that he is a healer. Amen. My God. We hear that he opened the eyes of the blind. Yes. But do you know him that way? Mighty God of Daniel. Amen. You have a lot of people walking with God and as soon as they get ahead, they run God and hold them on. Glory to God, a true thing. They are walking with God for, for, for years and years. Yes. But because as I would term it, they cheat God like somebody they just dating on the street. But they did not marry to him. Oh, glory to God. So they did not treat him as a husband. Oh, glory to God. They treat him very casual. So because of that, they don't experience him in the way that he's to be experienced. So the first time they have a situation, somebody come and tell him, say, I know a man. Yes, man. I know a man. Somebody come and tell him, I know a woman. And then go around and some kind with some rapid people and some tired people and some pencil in her, wherever people and some oh great God of heaven and them do them look a ring around them do them look a turn around and them whatever it is. But you said that you're walking with God. 
But he said to you today, who do you say that I am? I am? Do you know me? Amen. Oh, glory to God. Because for you to experience me, you have to first know me. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Amen. There's power. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's power just in the association. Yes. Mighty God with Jesus. Yes. But do have you experienced that power? Do you know that power? Do you only hear of that power? But have you experienced that power? You read about it in the Bible. My God. So yes, the people that are, was around Christ, they was with him, yes. but they did not know him. Oh, oh glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. So I read. And they reason among themselves, saying, it is because, okay, go back, go, 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 let me go to 15. And he charged them, saying, Take heed, beware of the, the leaven of the Pharisees and of the leaven of Herod. Oh, glory to God. But they did not understand what he was saying to them. So they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have no bread. And when Jesus knew it, he said unto them, Why reason? Why reason he? Because he have no bread. Perceive he not. Yet neither understand have he have he your heart yet hardened? Glory to God. Amen. So think about it. These people is walking with God. Yes. And he just already performed the miracle of the fish and I, I, I read before. For the first time was already gone. And now because he mentioned bread to them one more time. They a matter of fact, he tell them he wasn't talking about bread. But because bread is mentioned in the world, all of a sudden they think, oh God, he's talking about bread because we didn't buy any bread. Yes, exactly. But Christ knew in them heart, saying, why you reason this thing about yourself? No, no. Don't you already see the word that I've done? So if I have already feed many with a few loaf and a few fish, why would I be talking about fish and bread right here? So he said, there's something wrong here. So you're walking with me, but you don't know me. You are walking with me, but you don't know me. Amen. Because if you didn't know me, you wouldn't be reasoning amongst yourself and saying this. Because you would say, well, we don't have the bread, but guess what? Whatever we find, he can multiply it. Amen. So I'm saying to somebody today, when you know God, my God, it doesn't matter how oh, lacking bread is in your cupboard, you know that bread will come. Yes. Somewhere, yes. somehow. He might yes. not... Yes. Just make it pop up in there, but somewhere bread is going to come in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Having eyes, so he said, my God, he yet have your heart hardened. Having eyes, but see, but he see not. And having ears, hear he not. And do he not remember. So Christ is saying to them, you don't remember the last miracle that I did? Mm. Why so short after this? Yes. My God. And it's just like with us sometimes. Sometimes we have a situation and we, we go to a man of God or a woman of God and they pray for us. And we get deliverance. And we get healing. But as soon as another circumstance pop up on us, we start running to a corner and hide as if we did not experience that the, our great God of heaven. My God. So he said, do you not remember when I break the five loaves among five thousand and how many baskets full? My God. So God said, what's wrong with your head? Are you so easy to forget? My God. Mighty miracle been done among you. But yet still know there's a bread issue. Mighty God, and today we have a bread issue, see we because the Bible says healing is the children's bread. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible says healing is the children's bread. So yes, healing was done before. Deliverance was done before. But because you find yourself in that situation again, all of a sudden you ask as if God cannot do it again. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Mighty God, 5,000 basket full of my God. They said unto him, 12. Because he's asking them, how much did left over when I feed the last, the, the last multitude? And their answer, I said, 12. So basically, I'm pulling back their memory to say, did you not remember this? 
Oh, glory. So they are answered and say, Oh, there was 12 baskets. And when he, and when the seven, among 4,000, four how many baskets full? A fragment took he. My God. And they say, Seven. And he said unto them, How is it that he do not understand? How long will it take you to understand who you are walking with? How long will it take you to understand who you are serving? How long it will take you to understand who you are a part of? My God, sometimes Christ will allow the bread to go out. Just, you think he could remind them when there was going over? To say bring bread? He could have reminded them, he could have told them because he know that there was no bread here. But sometimes God will allow you to go to a situation to see how you will act in this new situation. Yes. Mighty God of Daniel. Yes. He will allow you to go through it. Yes. So sometimes when we see circumstances and situations come upon us, it is God testing us in times to say, let us see how you will hunger this one. Yes. Because what he is doing, my God, is not because he wanted to starve, but he wanted to come to know him. He wants you to understand the God you serve. Because if we're going to do time, the mother thing that said, uh, if we're going to do time together, we must be together. Amen. If we're going to walk together, you must have an understanding of who I am. Because if that's not the case, you're going to come keep crying with the same situation all the time. And Christ don't want to, what he's trying to do is build strength, build character, build faith. Oh, glory to God. So he allowed them to come without the bread. Maybe we will allow them to forget it. Just to show them where is your fear. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, and they say seven. And it is that he do not understand. And he commits to best. Let me see where I'm, where, where I'm at here. 22. Glory to God. Glory to God. And he commits to best And they bring a blind man unto him. And he besought them to, and he besought them to touch him. Oh, glory to God! And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit in his eyes and put his hand upon him, he asked him if he yet saw. Oh, glory to God! So basically, what was going on here? What was going on here? Christ was building characters yes. of those that was around him. Yes. And I am here to tell you that we have that same problem in this season. Yes. Because many is in the house of God. Mm -hmm. And many times they see the move of God and the power of God. But they will come back next week and ask as if they never see it before. Oh, Amen. Glory to God. They will leave and come back the next week and act as if they never see it before. And I'm telling you, God is not pleased with this type of action and behavior. Because what God wants is a people that will trust him. Is a people that will understand him. Is a people that will know him. Oh, glory to God. That whenever you get into a situation, you must have the faith and confidence that God can do it. And God will do it. Let me tell you something. If you have certain circumstances going on, it doesn't matter how much shall you get prayer. Yes. Mm -hmm. If your faith is not lifted, yes. you have your faith. sometimes people pray for a person and they will go away and say, oh, they don't have no power. Mm -hmm. No, it's not them that don't have no power. It's they you don't have no faith. faith. Yes. Yes. So your faith is as a mustard seed. Amen. And this is what God was saying, Christ was saying to these that was amongst him. He was saying, your faith was to be built from the last time when I did that with the fish and bread. Yes. So why when you meet upon another fish and bread situation, all of a sudden you're going back to as if you've never seen it. Oh, glory to God. So what Christ is saying that I have a bunch of dumb spots around me. Amen. Glory to God. Because they're in class in 12 months and they didn't learn anything. Mighty God. They did it. We write on the blackboard every day. They see the drawing. But when it comes down to a day of testing, they don't remember anything. Yeah, doubt us, man. Doubt us. So God is saying, Christ is saying to us, faith must be built. Amen. Hallelujah. In order for me to heal you, faith must be built. Yeah. 
in order for me to deliver you. Faith must be built in order for me to strengthen you. Faith must be built. Let me tell you something. I remember one time when I was going through my valley. I speak of my valley all the time. And in 2020, when I was going through my valley, and when it hit me so hard, oh glory to God, I was at that place where I reached into faithlessness. My God. And I was there and I remember I was upstairs and my sister was living downstairs. And every time I, I, I come downstairs, I say, my sister, pray for me. Oh, glory to God. And when my sister pray for me, I feel a little bit better. But by the time I reach up the top of the stairs, I, I'm running back down the stairs and my sister pray for me again. And she said, what is going on with you? Because my feet on the last strand to the foot of the step. Yeah, oh, God. So they move from that session yeah, now. No so as every step I take up, my feet twinkle. Yeah. Because something in my head tell me, say, the boogie man upstairs. Ah, great God of heaven. I know I am afraid of the boogie man. So every step I take up, I'm thinking about the boogie man. So every step, my feet go down. Every step I take, my feet go down. Oh, glory to God. And by the time I reach, that he reach the top of the step yet, I'm running back downstairs because no more feet no left. Straight Everything run out and they said by upstairs. And now I am in corner, uh, shaking and trembling. Because great God of heaven, uh, God said give me power to trample upon serpents and scorpions. God said give me power to, to, to trample upon principalities and power. But yet still all of a sudden I reach on the step. And I forget all of those scriptures that I read. Oh glory to God. So the Lord is saying, my God, and he's not talking to them and those that are in the world. He's talking to his children. No, I think it was those that was around him he was talking to. So the Lord is saying to somebody, lift your feet today. Pull back, mighty God, on your feet today. And let your feet be exercised in the season to accomplish that which you need to be accomplished. In the name of Jesus. Or else every time you reach at the stop and the steel, you're going to be running back down. No. My sister get tired of me. Mm. My God, running down every five minutes. Mm. And, and hear this now. Before I reach into that situation, I was praying for people. I was laying. She knew me. Mm. Let me tell you something. This lady right here. Has it just come to my thought? Yep. When I just started getting the fire in line. Mm. I remember one morning. She only knew me casually. And I remember one morning. Jennifer. Yes, she called me. And she said, Brother Ron, I'm here suffering with a back pain. And she said, The Lord said to call you. Yeah. She said, I tried to call the radio station. That's what you said, right? And I said, No, me no want no ready-made prayer. Yeah. I want a specific prayer. And she said, When the Lord said, Call Brother Ron, she said, But me no know Brother Ron has no, no prayer warrior, you know, this or that, and it hurt. Because I was just coming up in that and she did not know me like that when the country met. Yes, yes. My God and my Father. And while she was talking to me, the Holy Spirit came upon me. And when I was going down the stairs, I was going to call my sister. I said to her, I'm coming. <laughs> my God, and when I was going down the stairs, I was going to call my sister. <laughs> but I did not. <laughs> I, I, I did not. I, 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 it was a Thanksgiving. I will not never forget that day. It was a Thanksgiving morning. <laughs> I will not forget that. And my God, when I went over there in the morning, me and she alone in the living room over there. Eh? Oh, oh, all right. Well, 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 God wanted me to speak about it. Me say, if me and she alone in the living room. How when the Holy Spirit lift up in there that morning, back pain fly and she did not tell me so she have neck problem, this a problem, that the problem, but after back pain fly. Me start one, one at a time, I hold the neck like a pop, me go pop it off. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> me and she alone over there. And one at a time, demon show up. Yeah. My God. And me say, wait, I want to go on this. And me say, get out. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, man. And when demon back up and run out, he ain't going to go out and regroup and come back. And me say, get out. Amen. Oh. 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 Hallelujah. And she can tell you, she, 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 she already tell you. Instant turn around. Oh, glory to God. And let me tell you something I never done now, man, I'm running to. Because two days later, I get a dream. 
My God, I will make it a dream to see this man after me. Yes. Because of somebody when we associate with it. And I say, who is this man? I want to tell her. Me tell her the she said, tell me the description of the man. I want to tell her this description she said, my ex-husband. I said, oh, God. I hear him God assure me saying, go on for chop you up now. Yeah. Glory to God. Mercy. And I will just leave that right there. Yeah. But what I am saying just to say, fear must be built in the season. Amen. Amen. And guess what? Amen. It's after doing all of those things that I went into a hole. Oh. After <coughs> I experienced God in that sense. Now you tell me, how could I experience God like that? But then end up in a hole. How could I experience God like that? But then all of a sudden now, I am running from demons and devil. Can't even come out of my apartment. Because sometimes we are walking with God and we are experiencing God but we feel not strong. So we get to a little soda and we start go so. But sometimes when you reach now, man, we have a bigger sword than ours. We don't know what to do. So we run the other direction. But the Lord is saying to you that even if your sword is smaller than the sword that come against you, your sword is mightier. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 So somebody show up with a sword. I will start running up and I'm going to have the fool. Glory to God. Because faith must be built. And my God. It's when I feel that I was dying and, and I make up my mind to die at that point in time because I think dying was better than living at that point in time. Glory to God. But, but somewhere along the line, God sent one to encourage me and say, mighty man of valor. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Mighty man of valor. Yes. Hallelujah. How did you find yourself here, mighty man of valor? Do you know who God called you to be? So I'm here to tell somebody to do your circumstance now. Doesn't determine your future. Yeah. Put it together in the name of Jesus. Put it together. Hallelujah. Yeah. Put it together, man. Yeah, yes. not the first to be in there. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And I've been here and come out. Yes. Glory to God. Put yourself together, man, in the name of Jesus, man. Stand up and quit yourself like man, man. Put on the pity party thing in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Praise Mr. Cut it out. Praise Hallelujah. 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 I've been there. Yes. I did not know that I would ever preach again. I did not know I could ever lay a hand again. I did not know I would ever do something like that. Amen. My God. I'm a fuck. I did not talk to her for a long time. Because when we go over there, we say, never tell me, say, demon in fall. I've been vexed with her for a long time. Because I say, what is it being? She knew me seven never talk to her for a long time. Bex! Because I'm back pain, I go over there. And when I go over there, I run up in a boat and back pain. And I say, what is this? Daddy, run you up in a high to show you the powers in there. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. Hallelujah. It's like, it's like Elijah out there went to Mount Carmel. Because that man in the field like I went to Mount Carmel. And shortly after that, I had a juniper tree. I run and ask my sister, pray for me every five minutes. So when I come in here and talk, nobody thinks that will ever be under a juniper tree yes, too. Man. And that's why I can understand when I see one under a juniper tree. Yes. But I am not going to come under a juniper tree and pat your dog. I'm going to tell you, get up. Yes. yes. In the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. Man. Yes. You are the first one under a juniper tree. Hallelujah. Get up. Get up, man. Quit yourself like right, man. And quit yourself like right, woman. And stand up on the fight, man. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Many of us. Jesus. Many of us that have been on fire like fire truck and been there. Mm. But it's after we have come mighty, through. Mighty God. Mighty God. Because our faith was tested. My God. And, and, and we buckle. Great God of heaven. But when we are encouraged, we have to learn to take encouragement. Yes. 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 Because if you don't take the encouragement, if I did not take encouragement, I would not be here today. Mighty God. And I am here to tell you the encouragement was that easy to swallow. Yeah. Great God of heaven. Because I tell you, when you're in a certain circumstance, something you feel like you're rather to receive death. Yes, true, true. Oh, glory to God. On the who reject and know. 
But at some point, yes. you have to tell yourself, say, eh, eh. No, I'm dead, man. Yeah. Mister, you have to tell yourself, eh. I shall not die. You have to tell yourself, no. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Mighty God of Daniel. Uh, and slowly but surely. Yeah. I tell you, when I came around, Pastor Harris, I was just coming about my family. I didn't know that. I was just coming about my family. I was just. And the Holy Spirit made me go over there and stay for two months. When I came there, two months, I stayed over there. Never left for two months. Because sometimes Elijah, Elijah need to be amongst Elijah. Oh, great God of heaven, to lift him up. Oh, glory to God. So the Lord will place you into the right place at the right time. But what you have to do, hope in your ears, hope in your understanding. Yes, yes, yes. And receive that which you get in that moment. And don't make it go to waste in the name of Jesus. But put it into practice. Because faith coming by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith is built. And nothing left. In tough situations. Faith is built in circumstances and situations. Hallelujah. I did not know. That I didn't lose so much weight until when we turn around. How when we go back and look at the picture. Mighty God of Daniel. I l- <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me get the man. Let me tell him what was. And he looked <laughs> up and said, I see men as straw walking. And after that, he put his hand again upon his eye and made him look up. And he said, and he was restored, my God. God wants to restore somebody today. Amen. Mm-hmm. Restore me, Jesus. God wants to restore. restore. This blind man was in his circumstance for a long time. But guess what? This blind man was reaching out. Because this blind man needed to be delivered. Amen. This blind man needed Amen. to be out of his circumstance. Yes. This blind man needed to see again. Mighty God of Daniel. So this blind man was willing. So even after the first touch came. He said, I'm seeing a little bit. But, but, but could you touch me another time? Want to see clearly. Because I want to see clearly. Amen. So God wants to allow somebody to be seen clearly Amen. today. Yes. God wants to allow somebody to be strengthened today. Amen. But you have to willing to receive it in the name Amen. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he sent him away. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Going to the town, not Hallelujah. To Hallelujah. The town. My God and my Father. Hallelujah. Let me see where I'm here. And, and he sent him away. Said, I need go towards the town, nor tell it to anyone. Mighty God. God. And Jesus went and his disciples into the town. My God. As I said, Christ was into character building yes. in the season. He was trying to build faith. He was trying to God. These, think about it. If these are those who are around Christ and they cannot be feel, then who are going to be feel? Right? <laughs> My God. Mm. Jesus. These were the cornerstone. Yes. Uh, well, well, these were the, going to be the foundation. Christ is the cornerstone. Yes. But they were the offspring that was going to spread the word in this season. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. And let me tell you something. Don't think that they had it easy walking with oh, Christ. No. Mm-hmm. No, not they did not have it easy walking no. with Christ. And they did not have it easy after he was gone. gone and that is one of the reasons why Christ has to build their faith. Yes. My God and my Father. Yes. Because if he left and their faith is not built, yes. then how are they going to encourage other? Yes. Mighty God of Daniel. Yes. So when you overcome, encourage you can go and encourage somebody. Yes. Yes. How can you go and encourage somebody if you never been through anything? How can you go and encourage if you never been through anything? Today I can encourage. Because I've paid the price. Mighty God. I paid the price to give me to encourage. Let me tell you something. I, 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 I've been into some fight and some battles. Not mine. Not mine. I've been into some fight that lay me up in my bed. I've been into some fight that made me sick. Yes, man. My God. Other people fight. Mighty God of Daniel. Sometimes I'm saying to God, how did I get here? Why am I here? My God and my Father. Why why allow me to go lay hands on somebody? They are right, but yet still now I'm sick. 
Mighty God of Daniel. So sometimes we find ourselves in that situation. My God. But when we find ourselves in the church, what God wants us to do is pull it together. Build ourselves. My God. God is not true with you yet, my young lady. God is not true with you yet. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is not true with you. Amen. I thought he was true with me. Amen. When I was in my body, I think of every wrong that I've done. And I start telling myself, this is the reason why. Because it's the only way I could make sense of what I was going through. Because how could I be one that gifted, carried the anointing, and end up here? So it must be something in my past that come to find me out. And I was looking in my past for every wrong that I've done. Let me tell you something. There's none of us in here that never done some farmer wrongs. God is not a petty God. And sometimes the devil will come in your ears. My God, and dig up everything and tell us it's this you do, and I'm that you do, and I'm this you do, and I'm that you do, and you, do, and you start to believe it. Accused of the brethren. You start to believe it. And let me tell you something. What the devil wants is just one moment of you give him look a hearing. If you accept one thing, him go back and him go ask all them demons and them. Go see what else you can't fight them past what they do. And you come and say, this you do. And on that you need to. Yes. I know you start believing because you're at a weak state right now. So anything, my God, you're here, you're going to believe it. And trust me, the devil is well able and capable of doing that. Yes. I'm you. But the Lord is saying to somebody today, I am not a petty God. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God. Mighty I am not a petty God. The Lord said, I'd rather not the death of a sinner, but, sinner but that you return to repentance. Then let the Lord rather not the death of a sinner. Then why his children, mighty God of that, he's going to rather near death. No. Don't let the devil lie to you. Lie to me. When I was going through my situation, and I start believing it, and the more I believe it, it's the deep I go into my hole. But I am here to tell somebody today, your hole is not too deep for God to dig you out of it. But you have to believe in the name of Jesus. Fear it coming by hearing. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And say, answer John, mighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. Whom do, okay, glory to God. And Jesus went out and his disciple into the town of Caesarea of Philippi. And by the way, he asked his disciple. This is the question that is being asked here today. This is not a simple question. Because it depends on how you view this question. It will determine your future. Depends on how you view this question. It will determine your connection with God. Depends on how you view this question. It will determine where you find yourself. If you find yourself on the wrong side of eternity. Or you find yourself with the people of God into eternity. Amen. This question is a high question. It's a heavy question. And it's a very important question. So what was going on right here? Christ know all the miracle that he done amongst them. And now he's doing a testing. And the test that he's doing is not for him. Because Christ know you. Yes. The test, sometimes when I hear people talk about Christ is testing and testing, Christ don't need to test it. Christ said before you was placed in your mother womb, I know you. Yes. And call you for me this purpose. Yes. So why am I going to test you? Testing your your test already laid out in, in front right. of him. So he know you. Exactly. Glory to God. So when the test day come, it is for you and the devil. Building yes. character. It's for you to know you. Exactly. And for the devil to know who you are Lord, in Christ. Christ. Glory to God. Amen. So Christ say, alright. You've been in school for a long time now. Many miracles. Blind eye been opened up. Uh, fish and bread distribute. Uh, I mean, many been healed. Uh, and all kinds of stuff happened. So this is a midterm test right here. Yes. Is anybody going to a midterm test right now? Yes. Make sure when you're going to a midterm test, you don't feel. That's right. Hallelujah. 
Because when you fail the midterm test, it means say you're gonna have to start class all over again, or you have to take some extra class or something. Uh, 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 some people even drop out when they're going to midterm test after your midterm test. Hallelujah. Yes. So prepare yourself for midterm test. And it is not too late for you to prepare yourself for midterm test. But midterm test is about to take place with the, with, with, with the disciples that was around Christ. So he said to them, now we're gonna sing perform. Who? Oh, glory to God. Who do men say I am? So listen, when he asks that, you know, he's preparing them for the next question. Because in all honesty, Christ is not worried about when man say he is, you know. He's worried about those who are rolling, who you say I am. But at the same time, he's throwing out a catch question before. And he's saying, what is the road on the street? Basically, that is what he's asking. What is people saying about me on the street? Glory to God. Because you are never wrong to say you're supposed to know. But what is the word on the street concerning me? That is what Christ is asking them right here. Hallelujah. What is the word on the street? And right away, they start acting like a bright student and everybody starts saying, Some said chant the Baptist. Some said this. Some said that one. And Christ said, right. No problem. That is what they are saying. But he said to them, No. And they answer and say, okay, such and such. And he said unto them, but who? Do you say I am? Tell me who you said I am. Yes. Peter, Paul, John. How are you? Uh, back to me, how are you? You've been around me. I'm in third test now. Who you? Forget about you when they said this. Who you said I am to you? Personal experience, sir. Oh, glory to God. Amen. And my God, all of them, all of them know how food they them or they can answer. Personal experience. And Christ is saying, my God, this is not look good. Midterm test, uh, because by this Christ who leaving. You know? Christ coming to the time that he leaving. Yes. And he said, my God, I, I'm going to leave soon and I, I won't be able to leave for me for, for, for take care of me. For spread the gospel. And you don't even know who he is. I walk away. My God and my Father. Let me tell you something. Many people in the church for years and don't know God. Many people in the house of God for many years and don't know who God is. They hear about him. Not only that, just like these disciples were saying. Some said this, some said that. Some said the other. They are still saying the same thing. They are talking based upon what is written in the Bible. But they are not talking based upon their own, own experience. But to God, dear God is asking all of us in this location, who do you? Because that will make all the difference. Yes. Mighty God. There's a song that says, They call him Jesus, my Lord, wonderful Jesus, my Lord. John spoke about him in the book of the seven sea. They call him the they call him the lily of the valley, but I call him Jesus, my Lord. They call him Jesus, my Lord, wonderful Jesus, my Lord. John wrote about him in the book of the seven seas. They call him the They call him the lily of the valley, but I call him. So what do you call him today? Who is you today? Is he your healer? Is he your deliverer? Is he your provider? Mighty God. As my sister they say, is he your rock in the weary land? Is he your shelter in the time of storm? Mighty God, is your savior, is he your friend? Yes. Is he the one that you can go to in your time of trouble? Yes. Who is Christ to you? Are he is the one that you roll your own to go to in your good times? Amen. Who is Christ to us today? Amen. Glory to God. So right here it is saying, Mighty God, only one in the class at that point in time. Only one said that you are the Christ. 
You are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Amen. So Christ is going to have one bright student. See you later around me. Yes. But what about the rest of them? Mighty God of Daniel. And that's why as much as Peter was not perfect. But Peter had something that the other mighty God of Daniel did not have. Peter have something. And I'm saying to the people of God today. Let us seek for that which Peter had. So that we too can say you are the savior. You are my God. You are my king. You are my deliverer. I don't only believe that in the good times. Because it's easy to say that in the good times. My God. But when time gets rough, you have to still be able to say who he is to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I promise you today that the time will come. Mighty God, if you look, Peter didn't even run and hide. He, 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 yet, even though he was the strongest one amongst them, but when that time come for another test, day, because the first time was midterm test, this one was closer to exam now. Mister, the first one when arrived was midterm test. But this time, no, was closer to exam. My God, and Peter said, "Oh, me." May we, may we go to you unto death? Yes. My God and my Father. So I'm here to tell somebody, you know. Nobody is saying that this journey is an easy one. Nobody is not saying that we're not going to come up on shipwreck. Nobody is not saying we're not going to come up on circumstances and situations that's going to rock our boat. But my God and my Father, Christ is saying at the end of the day, we must be able to stand. So who do man said I am? And who do you say that I am? So my God. Some of us pass midterm test already. You know. Some of us pass it. But remember, exam coming. Exam coming. Let me tell you something. Is that hate God hate us when he allows us to go through some things? I would have thought that God did not like me anymore when he allowed me to go through me go through. Yes. Because the things that I've went through, oh my it wasn't pretty. Mm -hmm. My God and my Father, let me tell you, it really wasn't pretty. Mm -hmm. My God, I thought that God didn't like me. Hey. My, I thought He was true with me. My sister tried day and night to convince me that it is not so. But I am looking at the evidence and I'm saying, then if it is not so, why am I acting like this? Why am I behaving like this? Why am I going through all of this if it is not so? I am thinking to myself, you don't treat somebody who you love like this. But the Bible says, who can love you, Chase, isn't it? Yes. And let me tell you something, Chase can be something serious sometimes. Yes. Some farmer yes. Chase left mark over your back. Yes. Sometimes a Chase and leave all kind of scars. Yes. Lord Jesus, let me tell you something. <laughs> what every word in the time when God tell Ezekiel to walk naked? Come on, come on, come on, and eat all kinds. I met a man. What every word in that time? Ezekiel, prophet of God, but she bought the clothes and go walk naked for 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 what? One year or six months or whatever. Suppose it was us that didn't tell that. Everybody ever say you're a madman? Yes. A man used to but God tell him servant to go and do it. Yes. Mighty God of Daniel. So God might not come now and tell us to go chip off and walk like madman. Oh glory to God. But in this season, you know God still allowed some of us to go through some things. Yes. Where, let me tell you something. Can wrap that bill into depress. Yes. Amen. That, that is all your real strength. Yes. God said the messenger man go up. Elijah. Yes. Went into depression. Don't let nobody tell you why. When Elijah mm -hmm. run and go to the juniper tree, that was depression. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime a person is saying, Take my life, yeah. I don't want to live anymore, that's depression. Yes. My God. But Elijah was able to take encouragement. Yes. My God, my God. If Elijah was sitting under his juniper tree and was not able to take encouragement, yeah. 
And let me tell you something. Who, how do you think it's easy to take encouragement when you're at that state? No, sir. But Elijah put himself together Amen. and said, I'm going to take the encouragement. Amen. And even when he came back, Elijah could have said, I'm depressed, but I want to eat it. But Elijah eat the cake. Yes, because you need that strength for the journey. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, really you need the strength for the journey. Yes. So Elijah eat him cake. Yes. And the Bible said Elijah was able to travel for 40 days. Yes. With the strength that he received. Yes. So sometimes the cake that you're going to eat is the word. Yes. 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 And when you receive the cake, Strengthen. you will be able to have the strength to travel for, for, for days yes. and days. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I'm saying to somebody today, who do you say God is? Amen. Who is he to you today? Amen. Yes, 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 yes. And depends. Yes. Depends on how your answer goes today. Will determine your tomorrow. Yes. Will determine your next week and your next month and your next year. Yes. Who do you say that I am? And if you say, Don't are the Christ, yes, the the Christ. Christ. then say it and mean it. Yes. Because if I am the Christ in your life, mm. yes. there's things that the Christ is capable of doing. Yes. So if you say, I am your Christ, Allow me to do then start receiving the things that I do. Yes. But don't say, I am the Christ. And, and when I come to strengthen, you don't receive. You don't receive. Yes. When I come to deliver, you don't receive. Yes. When I come to bring you out of your circumstance, you don't come with me. If you're not willing to accept the Christ, then don't say that I am the Christ. Right. But if today you declare that he is the Christ, do as he say. then do as he say. Amen. Glory, Glory to God. God. And that's what I'm leaving with you today. Amen. Who do you say he is? Amen. Or who is he to you? Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Who do you want to Hallelujah! 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 